The Suicide Squad game, Kill the Justice League, is going to flop like a whale addicted to McDonald's. Why is that? Well, it was recently revealed that you need an online connection to play single player in this game. There it is again, the dreaded online required. Now I know saying this might make me sound like a crazy person, but hear me out. People actually like to own the things that they buy. But I thought we were talking about the internet, why are you bringing this up? Well, Warner Bros games, let me explain why games that require an online connection eventually die and why people don't like that in case you can't figure it out. A long time ago, in a galaxy, well, the, the one that we're in right now, the same galaxy, gamers all took part in a weird ritual. We'd save up our allowance, beg our parents to take us to a game store, look for a game that's gonna be fun for a long time because we're not getting another game till Christmas, then buy it, go home, put it in the console, and begin playing it immediately. So when I exchanged money for a game back then, an act also known as buying, I became the sole owner of 100% of that copy of the game. It was mine, no one else's. I don't have any siblings. So nobody had the power to tell me I had to download a patch before I could play or sometimes the entire game And good luck even trying to get me to do that because my ps2 didn't have internet access I don't even think I knew what the internet was back then It was a simple time for me without the world wide web You see the cool thing about owning something is that nobody can legally take it from you unless you're in debt Thank you reality fortunately square enix isn't gonna bust down your door and demand that you give them back your PS2 copy of Final Fantasy X because they don't support the game anymore. You can keep that copy as long as you are alive and you can continue playing it until your PS2 explodes into oblivion. How lovely. Unfortunately, we've left the era of owning things because that one guy said, you will own nothing and be happy. Sheesh, that prediction was wrong because we don't own anything and we aren't happy. What a fool. Kill the Justice League isn't the only villain here though. This has been happening for a long time and it's only getting worse. Digital only consoles, modern PC gaming, and even some physical copies of games have this problem. You're not being sold a video game anymore, you're being sold the license to play it. This is true of all digitally sold games. Recently, we've even had cases of physical discs just serving its proof that you bought a game and then you still have to download the whole thing. Why? A Blu-ray disc can hold 100 gigabytes of data. So why do I have to get the disc and then download a 70 gigabyte game? Why wasn't it just on there? No, it's not that simple. Some games go over the limit. Maybe you have to download the last 20 gigs. The discs are slow to read off of, so there might be a lot of loading times. Okay, fine. Let me load the data from the disc onto the SSD. Might take a while, but don't require an internet connection for that. In 20 years, when the PS5 is considered retro and Sony shuts down the stores for it, like they're trying to do with the PS3, PS Vita, PS PSP, which we haven't saved yet, you know they're just gonna try that again later on when everyone forgets about the whole controversy. But when that happens to the PS5, if I can just download a game from the disc onto the internal storage, I won't have to worry about the servers being shut down. It's inevitable that servers are gonna be shut down because it costs money to maintain them and companies aren't gonna keep them up forever. So give me a choice to preserve my video games that doesn't require your stupid servers. I see games being shut down all the time because of low player counts or lack of profit, and I think that's a real shame. What I've learned over the years is that everything is someone's favorite. Thing. Even if you hate the game, you don't like it, it is someone's favorite game and they deserve to be able to play it because they paid for it. It's their game. Why should it be taken from them? It's ridiculous. What a stupid notion. A massive recent game takedown was the Blizzard shutdown in China. There was a dispute between the publisher NetEase and Blizzard over there, so they just pulled out. They got all their games out of China. And Chinese players that have been playing World of Warcraft for almost 20 years on their account suddenly lost access to it. They lost everything. Gone one day because of some stupid company nonsense. That should not be allowed to happen. There was nothing they can do about it, and I hate that. I'm tired of single player games that require an online connection to play. And I'm tired of video game preservation and history being completely ignored by the big publishers. If I buy a physical disc, gosh darn it, I want it to be playable as soon as I get home. I want to put the disc in the console and play it right away. No updates, no downloads, no patches, no nonsense, no signing a UEULA, the Europe LA agreement. I'm not signing any of those. Let me play the game. I bought it. I own it. You want to know why we played the old game so much? Because the new ones you're making are awful. And so help me, if you try to take my games from me, I will find you. And I will kill you. It's not a case.